Hey guys, Vegathron here. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you 10 things you didn't know about in Stardew Valley. If you learned something new or just enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. In no particular order, here they are. Number 1. Moving full chests. We've all been there. You want to move your stash, but now you've got to find a place to sit all your junk while you pick up your chest. Well, believe it or not, you can actually move your chests without the need to empty them. All you have to do is hold click while hovering on the chest. After a second or so of doing this, it will slide one space away from your character. This is a fairly new feature introduced in update 1.5 and is extremely useful for tweaking your farm setup. Number 2. Hats for your horse. This next one is more about style than practicality as it serves no real function. Just as you can wear hats to improve your look, so too can your trusty steed. All you need is a spare hat and of course your horse. Select the hat in your toolbar and click on the horse to put it on. My personal favourite has got to be the blue snapback as well as the skull mask. Number 3. Getting your horse to serve ice cream. You may notice that in summer you can purchase ice cream from the stand near the museum. Unfortunately, it's closed every other season. However, there is one way around this. Our trusty seed will be more than happy to sell us a few scoops if we park him behind the counter. It's a mystery how he works the register and scoops the ice cream with hooves, but hey, some things are best left unanswered. Number 4. Bundle Indicators. Have you ever sold a heap of produce only to wake up the next morning and realise you've just sold something you needed for a bundle? Well, once you know this, it'll never happen again. In your bag menu, a small icon will actually glow if you hover an item that can be used in a bundle. Much more convenient than having to double check each bundle manually. Number 5. Refilling your watering can at the sink. Go to bed with an empty watering can and have a heap of crops to water today? No problem. Just drop by the kitchen sink and fill it up. Usually we're used to looking for large pools of water to refill, so this one slips under the radar, but on those busy days this can be a real time saver. Number 6. Giant crops from a single grown plant. By now you probably know about giant crops. These can occur when a large enough patch of watermelon, cauliflower or pumpkin is present. But did you know only the middle plant needs to be fully grown for a chance at becoming giant? As long as the mature plant is surrounded by the same species on all sides, it can still mutate and become giant. Number 7. Napping in multiplayer. Playing co-op with your friends and out of energy? Well head over to your bed and click no when it asks if you want to sleep. Staying in the bed will cause your character to take a nap and regain energy, much like the hot springs. This is especially useful early on when food is scarce. Number 8. No heart decay on max townies. Ever been trying to max out someone's hearts then get distracted and lose progress due to decay? Well, you'll be glad to know that once you reach 10 hearts, or 8 for bachelors, you'll no longer have to worry about the meter going down. It will stay at max and never decay unless you directly upset them. Number 9. Unlock portrait animations for townies. In the social page, having 4 or more hearts will unlock a special animation when you click a character's portrait. Lewis makes a shocked expression, Jody cleans, Cam crosses her arms, Willie smokes his pipe, Gus cleans a cup, Pierre puts on shades, Linus jumps in fright, Demetrius takes notes, Clint turns blue, the wizard smiles, the dwarf juggles a bomb, Kent looks down, Dandy waves, Vincent sits and plays, Haley does a peace sign, Robin laughs, Jazz skips, Evelyn shows her baking, Marnie is joined by chickens, Grobus bobs side to side, George sleeps, Emily dances, Myra gets a tool out, Jane pulls out a chicken, Abigail plays an instrument, Robin hammers, Harvey pulls out a device, Caroline reads, Elliot reads, Alex tosses a football, Penny kneels, Sebastian smokes, Leo squawks, Sam plays guitar. Number 10. Cully or Junimos. Junimos from the huts that can be built around the farm can be altered. Simply placing a gem such as a ruby or emerald in their hut will cause them to take on the colour of the gemstone. Placing a prismatic shard in their hut, however, will create rainbow junimos that cycle between all colours. And one last bonus fact that didn't make it into the initial list, when naming farm animals, the equals symbol can be used to add a star to the name. And that's all for this one. Let me know in the comments if you learned anything new from this list, or if you think you know something I don't. Please leave a like and subscribe for more indie gaming content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.